Hey all, Russ Air Beard TV, welcome. Check it out. We're in Laughlin. Actually, we're in Bullhead City. We're on the Arizona side. That's the Colorado River. Laughlin, Nevada is straight across. There's the world famous Riverside Casino, Don Laughlin, and he created Laughlin, Nevada. Very historic here. I've been running around, did some shopping, had to go to Lowe's and Home Depot and all that. Thought I'd pop in here a second. And look at this low island here, it's full of goats. <laughs> there you go, goat, goat and duck island. <laughs> Too cool. In the river water taxis, if you ever come over here, you gotta ride in them things. The casinos will comp you. They go in between all the casinos up and down the river. And them guys fly down the water. It is really qu quite a ride. They run round the clock. All right, let's go explore. Well, I thought I got a little time here. You know, we just went and checked the Arizona side of Davis Dam. Lake Mojave and all that. So let's go ahead and let's uh, explore it from the Nevada side. I've never done it. Always wanted to. Here's one of these things. Hey, let's go do something we've never done. Yay. And this is so RV friendly over here. Laughlin is. There's RV parks massive. Riverside actually has one that goes clear up that hill over there. Hundreds and hundreds of sites. Let's cut across to Colorado. We're not that far from Vegas. Less than 100 miles. Now right off to the right. Now we're officially here in Nevada now. This first turnout, this won't take us to the dam. This is uh, something trails. I forget the name of it. Oh, can't see the sign yet. Good. Heritage Greenway Trails, Parks and Trails. All right, let's pull down in here. Check it out. Now to get to the dam, we got to go farther up the road. I know that. Never been back in here. Drove past this, oh goodness, a hundred times. We're right on the road here. Supposed to be hiking and biking trails back through here. Right there is a river. I just passed a good place to pull off. Let's uh, do a big loop here. Looks like this is where you park. Do some hiking. I see the dam. See it? Way down there. Cool. Picture a perfect day. Absolutely gorgeous. You know, uh, it gets hot here. I mean, major heat. It'll even hit uh, 80 today. Look at that. They got a camp host here. Huh. But I don't think you can camp. All right. Let's get parked. There's the dam down there. Once again, this Nevada side of the Colorado. And 
and that's like Camp Davis, Davis Camp, RV Park, that's Arizona, I believe that's a state, might be fed, I better look that stuff up, there's the water, oh man, look at the kayakers, they're going underneath the bridge, you can hear them, <laughs> they're having a good time, Let's see if I can zoom in, look at them, kayaking on the Colorado, huh, nice, all right, well, let's get, go up the road, find that uh, entrance to go down to Davis Dam. I really like coming up here. I This is about the only place, too, I can get my uh, van serviced. There's an actual car dealer, RV dealer, that works on uh, diesels and Mercedes. So I usually come over and get an oil change. They got all the major stores, Home Depot, Lowe's, all the big stores. Look at that walkway there. So you can actually walk down from the casinos and come all the way up here. Okay, should be about three, four miles up the road here. See our turn off. Yep. Drove past this a hundred times. <laughs> All right. Let's go check it out. Now I know a little farther up there's another road takes you down you can go down to I think it's Telephone Cove something like that which that's all BLM camping dispersed 14 day and I had friends said that long before you get to the dam up here you can camp Let's see if we can spot any rigs we're dropping down. At least it's paved road getting back in here. That other one is all dirt and real bumpy going up that telephone. I've been down that one. Okay. This is uh, horses. They can do horses here. Look at this. Parking. Horse trails. Well, how cool is that, huh? Not only hiking, bring your horse. All right, almost there. This is really nice down here. This place is huge. If you're just looking for a day use place, Got to check this one out. Park rules, basic rules. No camping, can't camp here. But you can definitely, there's no fees. Because like on Arizona side, if you go back into uh, Catherine Landing, that's all fee based. No fees on this side. I bet you could easily fish. All kinds of goody stuff. Wow, look. That dam looks different on this side. Okay, well, let's get parked. A little breeze picking up. Perfect day. I mean, you can't beat this end of the year. 70s, 80s degrees, 50s at night, 40s. Hello. Look at that, another camp host. You know you can't camp. They just must be security for the park. All right, let's take a walk.
Wow, look at this. Totally different. I've only ever seen the top of it. Because I'd only go over to Arizona. Pretty impressive. That holds a lot of water. That Lake Mojave goes up there a lot of miles. They're producing power. You can hear it going. Always like looking at the blue color of the water against the brown of the desert. Things turned on a lot of light bulbs. Those are the gates, flood control. Hopefully, someday all these things will fill back up. Once again, what a what a nice place. Uh, that's all I can say. This is the Nevada side of the Davis Dam. Well, cool. I'm glad I came down in here. Check this out. This is definitely one to come back to. Well, what do you say? Let's go cruise uh, Casino Row. We'll head back. Uh, do the Arizona side. We'll go down through the Avi and stuff. That's always a fun drive. This would be a good one. One of these days I'll go up to that telephone cove that I was down in there in a car a couple years ago. A friend of mine drove me down in there in their car. And it was so rough. I hate taking a van back on rough roads like that. But it'd be perfect if I had my four wheeler over here and I need to do that. But not bad. We're about five miles out of town. This is called Davis Dam Road. Right off the highway here. Searchlight Highway. Right down there is the big old uh, town of Laughlin. Casinos popping right out of the desert. Alright, speaking of which, let's go cruise downtown. Once we get, go through downtown, we'll keep going on the Nevada side of the Colorado. Then we'll cross down by uh, Fort Mojave. Back under the big crosswalk. But who'd know? I mean, you don't think of wilderness trails and hiking and horse trails when you think of Laughlin. But they got just a little bit of everything here. Including a lot of people. This town has boomed. Heck, when I first started coming over here, it was nothing. This is another extension of their trails and parks there. Welcome to Laughlin, Nevada. I think these little casinos started off with little trailers with slot machines. <laughs> now it's a little metropolis. And they survived the virus, the pandemic. I filmed over here when it was pretty much shut down. There was no one out. That was weird. Looks like it's back to life. The lights are going. Big RV dealer. 
Now up that hill on the right, you can't see, the camera's not picking it up, is that big RV park. Very, very RV friendly here. Aquarius Resort. Most of them are on the left hand side. They just want to be along the water. There's the outlet center for shopping. I never knew that was there. Didn't pay any attention. Edgewater. Always hear that one advertised. There's a couple of them on the right up here. Those casinos, boy, when they build them, they build them quick. In and Out Burger, really good hamburgers. Tropicana. Stop in, win 300,000. <laughs> right. Then that Colorado Bell, that, that thing closed down. That closed it. It's deteriorated. They, I guarantee you someday they're going to tear that down and rebuild it. Looks like a big old steamboat. There's the Pioneer with the big lighted cowboy on its roof. Golden Nugget. Look at the windows. I'd like to be a window cleaner here. <laughs> make a career out of it. Okay, we're getting about the end of Casino Row here. I think Harris is the last big one up here on the left. There it is. I've been in that one. That's really nice. Okay, we're at the end of it. Well, about five miles up here or so uh, is uh, Needles Highway. We're going to head up there and then we'll cut on down towards the Avi. Head, start heading south. All these desert uh, towns like this. Watch this. It goes from palm trees and shrubs, casinos, houses, grass, and in blink of an eye, it goes right back to hardcore desert. <laughs> Nothing but sagebrush and dirt and gravel. <laughs> Welcome to the desert. Right there is a river, and that's uh, Arizona. That's Bullhead City. Bullhead City, that's one long town. It follows, uh, it goes several miles along the river. Okay, right up the road should be uh, Needles Highway. Here it is. This little restaurant here, it's named Gilligan's. Never been in it, that just reminds me of that TV show. <laughs> Stop at Gilligan's. All right, we just got about, I don't know, it's about eight or 10 miles right down the road. We'll cut into the Avi which is another big casino resort. That one's on uh, Indian Reservation land. All part of the Fort Mojave uh, area.
Right off to the left, uh, there's a Nevada State Park. Looks like it's full of RVs. I believe it's called Big Ben State Park. Part of the Nevada system. It's right along the Colorado River. Look at all them houses over there in Bullhead City. And nothing on this side. <laughs> and the mighty Colorado River flows right there. There's your Big Ben. That's why they called it Big Ben. Flows right through the desert. And there's Needles Highway. And you can just see how vast everything looks here. Kind of like the moon landscape or Mars or whatever. And huge washes. Imagine the amount of water and heavy rains that flow through here. All right, if you kept going straight, it'd take you right into Needles, California. Actually, this is where all three states intersect right up here. Nevada, Arizona, and California. Just down by the Avi Casino. Just past it. Okay, the Avi. I've stopped here for years. They got a KOA down here. We'll see it. They used to offer boondocking style parking I don't know ever since the pandemic a lot of this stuff has all changed all right it's about four miles down this road here welcome to the Avi there's a big golf course here off to the right is a huge KOA I never stayed in it See off to the left that big empty lot, that's where they used to allow you to dry camp. They got it all blocked off now. No more. Well, maybe they'll allow it up here in the parking lot. KOA, I'm sure it's nice, but it'll cost you money. Okay, let's pull on left, pull in the parking lot. There's a couple RVs parked out here. I, I don't know if they allow you overnight or not. Most casinos will. But, oh, for years, all the people out of Quartzsite used to come up here in February. They used to have big time vending here. I don't know if they still do it or not. But there it is, Avi Hotel Casino. What a pretty place. There's a good look at the golf course. And the KOA. Straight down. That's the Casino uh, Hotel. And that big lot on the back. Yeah, they used to allow dry camp in there. All different now. Then the mighty Colorado flows through it. Beautiful place here. 
Then right across the river, that's Arizona. They got the green fields looking good. All right, let's go back to Arizona. Right up the road here is Fort Mojave. But not bad. Check it out. This whole area, there's endless stuff to do. Hiking, biking, canoeing, kayaking, fishing, RVing. Very RV friendly place. All right, what do you say? Let's go up through the mountains. Maybe we'll cut through Oatman. Journey continues. Talk soon.